Welcome back everybody to my survival world in 1.18 with a tiny tiny little speck of 1.17 here. In between episodes I went ahead and put my signs out on all my dudes in here. Um, you can kind of see them in there. I did also have a little incident. I was AFKing for some pumpkins here and I think a zombie had gotten in my little door frame because the doors were set back inside. And I think one of them clipped this guy here and got him, and then they kind of just traveled down the line. Um, so now I have a row of zombie villagers here, which is fine. I got what I needed out of them for now. Um, I'm not too worried about getting anything out of these guys for now. Um, and what I'll do is I will acquire some blaze rods from the nether and make up some golden apples, do some splash potions of weakness, and get them all converted, and I'll actually lower their prices. So that's kind of cool. I didn't have to do anything and that's all set up and they're, they're good for now and you know this guy stole my door he's really happy about it apparently but I switched them I put them on the, the outside kind of flush the outside I don't really like that but I'm probably gonna add like little extension little wall pieces here to kind of recess them a little bit uh, let me go ahead and sleep and these guys are just out of range for me to sleep which is kind of nice and like I mentioned I went ahead and put my signs up also named up my dude here his name is Foink. Uh, he just kind of, he's like the supervisor guy and he keeps an eye on everybody and, you know, chills here. And I was working on my picks and I got myself a Fortune 3 pick and a Silk pick. Um, so that way I can kind of pick up stuff and do whatever and, and have both options. I also made myself a bow real quick. Uh, however, my, my levels are kind of lacking right now. Um, so, you know gotta do what you gotta do um, and I'm kind of bored with trading for now because I've spent the better part of a couple days trading with all of these guys and getting them all leveled up and getting their trades all situated and kind of ready to move on to something else for a little bit so I don't burn myself out on that side of things um, so what I want to do today is kind of start carving out this area um, and what I was thinking about was actually putting in a bridge that kind of lifts raises like maybe it starts here right where this step is and kind of goes and then steps up a little bit steps up a little bit steps up a little bit and kind of comes in around maybe here that way it kind of goes up like a ramp um and then we'll kind of carve out this area maybe and kind of go through it like a pass through there um we'll kind of see as i go um like i said i may break this down or i will kind of replicate it on the other side like a little watchtower kind of situation uh, but we'll see um also in between episodes i did a little mining um underground and the mines uh down in there um just got some resources blackstone random things like that um but one thing i was also doing um so while i was afking for pumpkins i set this up so i can get some lava um as you can see i was here for quite a while getting lava buckets um and then just kind of putting them in here boom 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 and event at some point i'm gonna be you know lava rich it's gonna be fantastic <laughs> but while I was doing that, I, you know, I kept hearing my, my, you know, my neighbors in here, as you can see on the subtitles in the corner, you know, zombies and spiders and all kinds of stuff running around. So I went ahead and I was, you know, I carved out a little spot in here, just looking around, you know, just checking. I was making a little area. I was going to make maybe a, like a bedroom or a, like a little safe house in here. Um, so I was following the sounds and I thought I heard like a cave or, you know, stuff happening. And I found me a cave spider spawner right here off of the, uh, the 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 storage room here so that's going to be kind of nice i'm going to set this up at some point soon here um to where i can kind of funnel all these guys into a central area uh, maybe put like a little drop and just make it really nice and easy because um, I, I did kind of test it a little bit it, it will light up as long as i'm kind of in this area of this room here um, so as long as i have them kind of funneling in that kill chamber kind of right around this this line here somewhere we'll get that set up that'll be kind of nice little xp uh but that'll be for another another time another day i'm not worrying about that right now it's all lit up and safe up and sealed off and i kind of cleared it out a little bit but uh i do want to focus more on the actual um starter base that's going to kind of be at the top of the hill here so let's go ahead and get into that and i will come back when i have some progress made and as you can see i went ahead and carved out a big big chunk of this hill here and uh, like I said I kind of want to level up a bridge that kind of steps up one two three four 
it levels out right there um, and then basically you can see right here right there and on the other side of it there's another one there's two poles um, so this is a three wide walkway and it steps up to five wide and then seven wide and on the back side there is two poles that's going to be the gate for the little castle that i'm building it's not a huge castle but it'll be like a little starter base castle afk castle um, for this area uh, and i want to make it kind of looking nice all the way from the center area from the square i guess the town square you could call it uh, so that way you can kind of you'd be able to see the building from here uh, So that's gonna look kind of nice. Hopefully uh, But what I'm gonna do is kind of jump back and forth between working that um, And working the spider spawner. I went ahead and kind of did my coordinates and found out that it is right below this house um, So I may incorporate the house into the spider spawner uh, as far as access goes, but it is right below um, so I don't know if I actually want to be in right above the area or a little bit further away so i'm thinking this may not be anything to do with the spider spawner but it is directly below this house uh, which is kind of kind of cool so i may do that um, but either way i'm going to have to set up the room anyway so i'm going to do that um, set up that room and continue working on the, the mountain house or the <laughs> little hill house whatever you want to call it um, and we'll be back again once i get some of that done and uh I have big plans for the spider spawner because I, I want to use some of the stained glass so we can kind of see everything that's happening in the spawner. Um, and during my AFKing and leveling up my villagers, I did go get more of the shards here. So I'll have plenty to make the stained glass with. And I can actually buy stained, the glass blocks from the traders over there. So that's all, that all kind of, it all works out and plays together. Um, so we'll get a little bit of that done and we'll be back. So let me catch you up on what I've been up to. I went ahead and came over here and cleared out this area, put in a floor. Um, I picked the polished diorite because I'm going to be putting the tempered glass or the tinted glass in here. And I want to be able to kind of have some visibility and there won't be any light in there. So the white blocks may be able to help us see a little better. Um, haven't decided on what I'm doing on the sides yet. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I wanted to kind of make it look kind of big from when you walk in. So when you walk in here, it's going to be like this. I may clear out another another little spot here, um, but you'll see kind of a big wall of glass and spawns happening. It's going to be nice. And then the chamber to work we're going to work out of is going to be down there. So hopefully that'll be the right lineup. I may have to move it maybe a block over. I haven't quite figured out all the details yet. I just kind of doing it. This is basically going to be the XP farm that Shulkercraft posted about a year ago or so. I'll throw the link in the description for that. Definitely not taking credit for it. I am modifying it and making it look different, but it is basically what's going to be Shulkercraft's version. It's going to have a little cut out here. Uh, the water flows and the trap doors and all that good stuff uh, but check out their video if you want to kind of see how they built it um, but it's going to basically just be that but looking different uh, but yeah i'll go ahead and get back to that because i kind of want to get this done i need to get some levels going get my uh my little mending things sorted out and all that and i don't want to wait on that too long so we'll get this going and get that done all right everybody here it is i did not finish decorating this area i did make it a flat stone but i did not go through and make it look its final thing i'm gonna hang like lanterns and just make it look good um, however we can kind of roll through and check out and watch the spider spawner as it works i'm gonna go through and do the decorating as i get more materials for the interior of the box that we can see there plus this area i'm gonna make look much different um, there we go right there we can check them out uh, went ahead and did the drop down right here like we did before and here we go did a little testing got a couple loots um, made a sword for myself here uh, it has got everything you need for a good spider sword uh, and there's there's that uh, did a little decorating like you see here nothing fancy uh, and I have zero levels after I finished making this sword just now. Um, and what I want to do is hang out here for 30 minutes and see what we can get as far as levels go in a half an hour.
All right, and that's right at about 30 minutes. So it's about uh, 30 levels. And let's check out the chests here. I got a bunch of heads, a bunch of string, a bunch of eyes. Oh yeah, it's gonna be all right. Plus the levels are nice and consistent and get a half an hour and get level 30. Uh, that's pretty nice. Can't say that's a bad rates right there, especially for early game XP farm. Uh, I like it and I will probably be in here quite a bit um, getting levels and things. Uh, let me put the sword back. I'm going to keep that here because I'm not really going to use that outside of here. Uh, bye. <laughs> I'm going to work on this aesthetics here in between episodes. And the only other thing I want to do before we wrap this one up here is kind of get... Oop, it's nighttime. I want to go ahead and kind of plot out... Uh, where the house or where the the, the, the base is going to be here. Um, plot it out, get it all situated, maybe uh, maybe even start the foundation and first floor and kind of get it kind of done. That way I can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like because um, I actually don't have a plan for it at all, um, which is kind of how I do things. I just build it, see if it looks good, who knows. The only thing that I do know is that I'm going to put an enchanting room and library in there. I'm also going to incorporate the sugarcane farm, the automatic sugarcane farm, so we don't have to do it over there anymore, uh, is going to be in this building as well. So part of the build is going to be sugarcane farm, part of it's going to be enchanting room. Um, likely it's going to be like a uh, enchanting room on the outside and then behind the scenes sugarcane farm so it'll be like an enchanting room that makes a bunch of noise and you can't figure out why <laughs> and so that's fine with me <laughs> i like tucking things away and hiding stuff um, but aside from that um, let's get to getting this sorted out and get a rough idea of how this is gonna look okay so i went ahead and started to frame out and do a little bit of working around and figuring out what i want to do for this house here um, and this is what I came up with. Now, everything that's cobble is not going to be cobble. It's just for, you know, for demonstration and, and, and getting an idea. Uh, but what I'm thinking of is two kind of like flowing water features in the front corner as you come in from the bridge, cut through. Um, then it'll be kind of like a big open area with decorations and flowers and blah, blah, whatever. And you get the big door. The left and right sides here are going to be where the sugarcane farms are going to be. Um, on either side um, and I have the coal for the pistons the granite for the observer and then I got torches for the sugarcane and then the water kind of flow in the middle um, so that'll kind of all be tucked in there um, that'll be on the same both sides um, I'm gonna make that kind of a little bit tall so I'm gonna build up the second floor basically up and then probably level it out again and then make it a uh, some sort of something in the middle nice tall something something I don't know I haven't quite gotten that far yet uh, don't know if I actually like this build yet I already know that I'm gonna have to fix there's some sort of a weirdness here so I got a two block gap here but over here it's three <laughs> so I think I did one of these this little wall over here wrong uh, but I'll fix that as I'm kind of going through and finishing and finalizing everything uh, but this will be kind of like a, a project I'll work on over over a few episodes here. I did make some progress in the spider room, though. Uh, so let's go check that out now. All right. So as I tend to do, I probably went a little overboard or maybe not. Who knows? Um, but I kind of like it. It's simple. Um, nothing fancy, nothing crazy. I do have like a little bridge walkway to the spider room. And then there's a stairwell that goes down to the landing that you can kind of do what you want and look around and check it out and do whatever uh, and then you go all the way down this is where I'm storing um, <laughs> lava just kind of as storage um, and I love the fact that I can have this right here and it doesn't affect this I also went ahead and put in uh, off switch or off lamps I guess you could call them um, to turn the farm off um, that way they're not just building up down there for no reason when I'm in the area um, and I went ahead and this is all done, done down here, and that switch is basically just right there. The lever cuts the lights on and off, and it lights the room up. Um, I went ahead and just did a little bit more with the iron bars, which I really like, and some more heads. Also, with the lava dripping from the top here, I went ahead and swapped out this for deep slate, uh, as it looks like it maybe cooked it over time and has burnt the, the <laughs> you know, the, the, the blocks on the floor there. Uh, so I don't know, that kind of looks, I don't know, 
it's just an idea, you know. Never know if those ideas are good or not. I also went ahead and found myself a little place that I can put uh, a little bed and, and like a little bunker. So I made a little bunker in here. Um, lava wall, I like decorating with lava. I went ahead and just bunkerized it with some iron blocks. And this is also where I'm gonna put my head museum um, for the best heads that I get or the coolest heads or whatever. Um, we're gonna occupy these walls in here in my little bunker. Um, I don't know what else I'm gonna do in this bunker um, over time, I may expand it. Um, but for now, it's just kind of like where I'm sleeping and I can kind of keep an eye on my uh, little spider spawner and none of the light affects any of this little space in here, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, I, don't know, I think it turned out pretty good. Let me know what you think. I spent way too much time in here, I'm sure, <laughs> doing all of that. Uh, but I, I think I like how it turned out. And uh, since we're going to probably be down there a lot, I wanted to make sure it looked okay to or, <laughs> look good enough to be in a lot. I'm also still going to be doing something in this room here um, on the walls. I'm not sure what yet, so I haven't done anything yet. I did go ahead and put in the diorite frame around the glass, so that's done. But then inside the walls, I haven't done anything with. Um, except for in the center in here, I added these in because spiders started spawning and landing on the top there. So I needed to kind of block that a little bit. Uh, and I think that turned out pretty all right. And with the spawner XP grinder room completed, just pretend like I did the ceiling. It'll be there next episode. Like it was always there. It, it, it's fine. It's fine. It's really fine. I'll go ahead and wrap this episode up here. Go ahead and if you wouldn't mind, tick that little button down there. Um, that says subscribe and then there's another one down there that says like that'd be great i'm gonna be trying to put out videos every week to maybe two weeks depending on scheduling but aside from that we'll see you guys next time so yeah